It's like it's been warm one time. Come de garçon. Do anything for club. Thank you, Plato's. Got some Jordan Nines. Jordan Nines sell well now. 76. Got the Jordan 13s. Breads from 2012. 70. I think that's a pass. crazy at the uh, other Ragorama. I actually got a pair of these in um, I think a size 10 for like $60 but the pairs that have the pairs I found are so clean like they look like they've been worn like one time I mean look at this you don't usually see 11s this old look this good look at that toe box man I mean, look at the inside like it's like it's been worn one time All right, we left Ragorama, Jordan 11, Georgetown, pristine condition. And we got the uh, Jordan 9, something blue, Jordan 9 Sport Blue, I think. I don't know. But uh, the total for both came to 160. I should be able to sell, you know, one of these for 160 and then the other one for like 150, so. Like, I don't know, like 65 profit a shoe, maybe something like that. These are the Air Force One Supreme. These are Air Force One Supreme. I mean, really rare, but I mean, I don't think anyone's trying to buy these. It's like one pair on eBay for uh, 295. So I'm gonna pass. These are ugly. Got some uh, Jordan 12 playoffs. 90. Steep. Doesn't have the right insoles. Gonna pass. We got some cool gray 11s for 90. That's not a terrible price, but it's not the right laces. These are replacement laces, so I'm gonna pass on these two. Plus, they're pretty stained, so I'm going to pass. So I got these Air Max 90 uh, Surplus Camo in a size 10 and a half. And the crazy thing is, is 10 and a half go for like 200 plus used. I don't know, it's an in-demand size, so I'm definitely going to grab these for 60. Kind of look like the off-white uh, Air Max 90s. It's probably why people like them. All right, so just look play those. Size 15, Jordan 14, Black Cats. Gonna hold these for a ransom. Um, there's no size 15s anywhere, man. Size 15s are like a gold mine. Size 15s are like a gold mine. Okay, a gold mine. All right, size 15. Um, I just sold some size 15s in Jordan 11s. Uh, not that much, but they sold to the same person. But whatever. So Black Cats, man, the last... Um, Size 15 on GOAT sold for 600. Um, there's none on StockX. I think the last one sold for like four or five. So I'm probably gonna price these at like, I pay 50, probably gonna price them at like 250 or something like that. Only one thing to say, only one thing to say. Thank you, Play-Dohs. Now we have to go shop 
It's like these patent leather uh, ones. I'm actually surprised in this black colorway. I mean, I thought this was a good price, $60, but I mean, these are on eBay for, um, somebody's got a size nine listed for like $79 and it's sitting, man. The game has definitely changed. You gotta be a lot more selective with your pickups. So I left Ragorama. Um, those Spizike uh, winterized the uh, black and red. I mean, those had potential, man. Um, really rare shoe at only fifty dollars. I mean, I feel like you know you could possibly sell those for two hundred plus down the road, but um, there was a little bit of separation on there, and I was just like, I don't know, man. So I passed on them, but. Those had a lot of potential. If there was no separation, man, I definitely would have picked those up. And um, the phone posit, uh, Come de Garçon. Come de Garçon. Um, fake, man, so fake. Uh, I was hoping that they were real because they went for a lot, man. They were only priced at 110. Uh, used pairs were going for like three, four, or five hundred dollars Oh, and the Yeezy, the Yeezy Belugas. Um, they look really good, man, but there was a production date in there of, uh, 2020 and they came out in 2017 and I was looking to see if they retro and I didn't see anything about them coming out in 2020. I might be wrong about that, but I couldn't find any pairs that were 2020 production. So I left those behind as well. Those were cheap, man. It was 60. <laughs> I just left Play-Dohs, crazy steals. Only paid $40. Um, so these were just like sitting in the in the corner. Jordan 9 bread, size 15. I love size 15 because usually super rare, hard to find, very few on the market. So in this particular shoe, it's actually in really good condition. It's just like squat, squished up or whatever, but Man, this was sitting in the corner, $20, man. Um, there's no 15s anywhere. No 15s on GOAT, no 15s on eBay, um, no 15s on StockX. Scratch that. There is a size 15 on GOAT and it's $644. Uh, wait, no, there isn't. Like the size 14 and a half is $600. But there's no size 15s anywhere, okay? I paid $20. I'm selling this for 250 minimum after i clean them up they're gonna look nice they're gonna look nice then i got some dunk low uh animal pack or zebra or something like that only 20 dollars too these are kind of beat up uh got some heel drag the suede is you know not looking that dapper anymore but uh, i only paid 20 dollars for these two and at minimum you know like 110 something like that these are going for like 220 new so Half price, 110, somebody pick them up. So thank you, Play-Dohs. So I just sold the uh, Jordan 9 uh, breads. It only took about uh, a week and a half. And I, ha I actually had so many size 15s in the past that I had a size 15 replacement box. But yeah, man, cleaned them up real nice. see how they look they were a little crushed but yeah man these only cost twenty dollars man twenty dollars and uh, I sold them for 240 plus shipping
So that's over $200 profit on these $20 shoes, man. It's not bad. Not bad at all. What? Chase, what are you looking at? 